I got signed to Harvest through my management, which was at that time with Black Hill, with Peter Jenner and, and Andrew King. And they had a already ongoing thing with Harvest um, when when they when it started, and uh, and so I got in there. And of course, uh, um, the backstory, which you probably know about, uh, legend has it that that Harvest was started as a tax loss, um, and then of course they and then signing people like me meant that they were going to lose money. Um, and uh, and then of course they made the mistake of signing the Floyd and 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 and, and Deep Purple, and so then it went into a whole other ball game. <laughs> they had to rethink it. Uh, so that's how I got signed to Harvest through through Jenner and King, uh, um, who had a who put some of their acts in there, like Edgar Broughton was in there as well. You know, I got signed by Malcolm Jones, um, uh, who was lovely, a great guy, uh, a real record guy. And unfortunately, he he got kind of a bit upset with the business, and he, he drifted a bit. And and um, uh, I, I gather he did himself in. I'm not quite, I'm not quite sure. He certainly died young, anyway. Uh, Malcolm was a great guy and a great record guy. Um, and uh, um, and then I dealt with people, Dave Croker and people people like that. Um, I wasn't happy in there particularly, but then that was me. I was green anyway. It was my first experience of the record business. I wasn't yet, uh, I wasn't a very good singer at that time. Um, I, I was just hanging on by my fingernails and very happy to be out on the road with a nice band and, and doing what we did, you know. Um, and then again, when I developed a bit and did Pi Blocktail, that was my second band and that lasted for a few years. I discovered quite a lot that EMI was was very involved with with certain war contracts, and I didn't feel terribly happy about that. And so, um, and we, the last incarnation of of Pi Blocto, which was my band with them at that time, and we did this single, and um, the single was really like selling about six hundred copies a day, and getting fantastic reviews, and it could have been a hit. And my publisher at that time, who was Jerry Braun, he'd put up a bit of money for advertising and stuff. Um, and um, <clears throat> anyway, we went into EMI to Harvest for the meeting and said, look, you know, this is, look, could be a hit. Will you get behind it? And they went, no. 